coming up, drills with the wiki-keeping coach, Josh Sivia. Right, we're going to start off our drills with one in front of the stumps. All we're going to look to do, we've got our inners and we've got a cricket ball. All we're going to do is transfer our weight from foot to foot. Just like a piece of string was in our hips, we're looking to drive our hips to wherever that ball goes. The feeder is going to have quite a slingy feed, probably about halfway down the wicket. The ball's going to be on the bounce. Um, wherever that ball goes, we drive our weight across, hips across and head and hands in line. The key thing, big toes stay on the floor. Nice. So wherever we go, my head and hands want to work together. Weight transfers, like I've got a piece of rope through my hips, really accentuating that weight transfer. At no point do I want my big toes to come up because that then is going to force my weight backwards. Yeah, nice. Even this one, hips come across, weights come across, head and hands as close to the line of that ball as possible. How about to move my feet? Okay, we've looked at transferring our weight from foot to foot. We're now going to look at trying to keep our hands strong and increase that speed back to the stumps. The way I do this, is with this. What I've got here is I've got a speed band that's wrapping around uh, my wrists. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna attach it to this bungee so that as I drive back to the stumps, we've got some resistance as well. So we've got different weighted balls that I'm gonna catch whilst attached to the bungee as well. Starting off with 450 grams, which is a really heavy ball and working our way down to 100 grams, which is about a third of a proper cricket ball. Bang. Good. So what we're looking for, we're going to go catch stumps. One swift movement. Bang. Hands are nice and big. And we drive back to the stumps. No give. We don't need it. Don't let that ball win. So we'll work our way down the weights. Each time we want to get a little bit quicker. Right, so leg side, there's a couple of drills that we just want to do to work our way to that full leg side catch and snap. The first one we're going to do is we're going to start on this offside and we're just going to transfer our weight and with one hand, get our, get our hand across that leg side. We're not going to move any feet. We just want to go head and hands to start with. Head and hands are the things that start the movement leg side. We don't want to move that foot this left foot here, because as soon as we step, I'm right behind the batter. And all that's gonna do is make me stuck and there's nowhere for me to go. So to start with, we're just gonna go head and hands, work our way across. So I've just moved the stumps so that my hands can work along this crease line. It's really good to use markers such as this in order to make sure that our hands work laterally on one plane Really drive that head across, palm facing the ball. Once we've looked at working just that one hand across and transferring that weight, we're now going to incorporate the snap. The snap, when we're facing a right-hander, starts with our right foot, and then our right foot catches up with our left, and our left foot's going to shoot across. What we want to do, essentially, is start in this position, and as we go across, we finish in this position as well. The whole idea is that we get our head and hands working together and our head in line with that ball. So we've gone no feet, we've gone catch and then feet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the feed slightly from an underarm feed to a slightly slingier feed on the bounce. And we're gonna do exactly the same. This time with two hands, work our way across head and hands and then snap back to the stumps once we've shuffled our feet. So. One thing I see people struggle with a lot is that bat wafting in their eye line. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a mannequin in the way to try and replicate that 
the more arms and the more distractions that we have when it comes to a Saturday or a Sunday or wherever we play, just one batter is going to be so much simpler. So you can see with this one, put a load of foam tubes going across. So we've got a, a nice amount of nicks. I've also tried to blank out the center so that when I go down leg, I'm being blocked with vision. Hey, good. So what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at standing back. It's all about being free with our movements. We want to jump into that trigger movement in order to push off in either direction. So what we're going to do, just a couple of sidearm balls, nice and quick, spray it around, and all we want to be is nice and free. Do we turn and go? Do we shuffle? It's all about where that ball is and where we are in relation to it. Everyone wants to know how to catch that absolute worldy, but it comes from a progression of steps. And firstly, we've got to learn how to catch and roll before we look at pushing ourselves off to catch that absolute worldy in front of second slip. What I've got here is a mat. I'd recommend if we're indoors, putting some sort of blue mat down just in order to have a slightly softer landing. What we're going to do to start with, with our gloves on, we're just going to get a couple of underarm feeds just out here. All we want to do, open up that hip, open up, catch out of front of our eyes, both palms. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring this hip around. This hip's going to come around. We're going to land on this left hip again, and we'll roll ourselves off our mat. So what we're going to look to do as we catch, this hip's going to come around. We're gonna open up this side in order to access it because we're looking to push that way. Open up, catch. This hip comes around. We look to land on this forearm, this left forearm and this hip in order to get our momentum round so we're facing the opposite way. What we don't wanna do, which I see a lot of keepers do, is fall immediately on this right knee. Because the problem is you've got then nowhere to go and all you're gonna do is fall. So avoid landing this right knee on the floor at all. As we step in, we open up, catch, land on that forearm and that left hip, and roll our way around. What you'll notice in the professional game, it doesn't matter where that ball is. If it's right next to you, and you wanna catch and roll, do it. If it's over here, you wanna catch and roll, do it. Whatever feels natural. So if we want to catch some absolute worldies, exactly the same thing needs to happen. We need to, firstly, open up that hip in order to get everything pushing towards where the ball is going. And then we push off with this foot. Everything pushes off and we've just got to go with it. As far as we can go, just go.